As recent as 2009, I had to study the sexual selection theory at university. This theory poses that because women have a limited amount of eggs and they have to invest a lot of time and energy into bearing and raising children, it's only natural for them to be choosy and coy. Men, on the other hand, have an unlimited amount of sperm. It only takes three minutes to ejaculate, so it's only natural for them to sleep with as many women as possible that they think that are healthy and will bring them lots of children. This theory is total nonsense. When taking an objective look of a human behavior and a human body, there is only one conclusion one can make. The human race is polygamous. Men mate with multiple women and women mate with multiple men. While some men are noisy, it's typically the woman who is louder in bed. This phenomenon is known as female copulatory vocalization, which can range from moaning or breathing heavily to actually screaming, laughing, crying or talking dirty. In evolutionary terms, it's only like yesterday that human beings lived in hunter-gatherer societies consisting of about 75 to 150 people. With the joyous sexual screams, the woman is alerting the surroundings that she's getting it on. This, of course, is rather dangerous, making her and her sexual partner an easy prey for predators like foxes and lions. The supposed evolutionary advantage of the women who were making these vocalizations during intercourse is that she attracted the attention of the other men of the tribe and they would all head over and she would mate with each and every one of them in a row. Now as all these men come quickly and the woman has the ability to have multiple orgasms, the woman accumulates sperm from multiple men in her vagina, where then sperm competition takes place. May the best sperm fertilize the egg. In doing so, the chances of getting healthy, fertile babies are increased by the millions compared to selectively choosing a sexual partner and future parent for your offspring. Darling, it's only natural to scream for joy, to feel sexually attracted to other men despite loving your own husband, to continue to be surprised how quickly he and then be flabbergasted as he's already half asleep when you were just getting started. I'll discuss our permanently sexting bodies, men's designer penis and other traits that all support that humankind is actually polygamous in future videos. But next week, let's look at our luscious lips. Bye!